Guys, I, I want to start off by saying um, what, a, what a great team uh, Arizona is. Uh, Sean has done a tremendous job building the program. And it was, uh, you know, like I know for a coach, it was a tough game for me to be involved because obviously you want to lead the game and win the game. But I know as fans, it was a great game. And uh, give those guys credit. Uh, I thought our guys, our guys in the locker room, did a tremendous job staying the course and staying to the scout report. And uh, we did a good job of, uh, you know, getting into our presses, staying in their presses. Uh, we did a great job of moving the ball around. Uh, we got some contributions from some uh, unlikely guys. Um, Malik did a great job, you know, eight and eight. And then um, Braxton certainly had a great game. And then I thought Al did a tremendous job. But uh, I'm happy for our guys. This is uh, one of those games that you win. Uh, Obviously, you want to continue to build a program, and certainly this is a program win. You say, say it in a starting report. What was the starting report uh, to beat Arizona? Well, I, it's not a – you don't have a – the crazy thing, they got so many weapons, there's not really one guy you can key on. Obviously, we came in the game trying to let, not let Trier get 30 points, and he got 27. Um, <laughs> obviously, their bigs are really good. I, I just thought we matched their intensity. Um, I thought we did a great job getting on the transition. I thought we did a great job forcing the tempo. You know, anytime you can score 90 points. Uh, if you look at us, we shared the basketball. We had 17 assists on 27 made field goals. So I thought it worked out well for us. Kevin, with Braxton, I mean, you, you didn't have a, the shooting start he wanted to have, but you played him a lot of minutes and he came through for you. Kind of, what was it like to see him sort of respond in a big moment like tonight? Well, I'm, I'm happy for him. As you know, this young man has been through a lot. And, and certainly uh, we're very gracious that the NCAA to allow him to play. But I, I, I wanted to stick with him. Uh, reason being is the last couple of days in practice, he's really made some shots. And I felt like that uh, this would be his night. So we stuck with him and, and, and certainly he delivered for us. Kevin, you've been preaching effort and defensive intensity since you got here. Are you surprised that they've gotten it to the point five games in where they can do this to Arizona? I'm not surprised. Um, you know, these guys have, you know, we were fortunate enough to take a foreign trip to Italy and play those 10 practices and play those three games. And now obviously we're five games into our season. I feel like every game these guys, are, every day these guys are giving me tremendous effort and they're playing hard and they deserve to win. Braxton, what about for you with your shot? What, was there anything that felt different tonight? You know, I just came out, you know, trying to play my game, you know, play my role to help us win. He sounds like he was confident it was going to be your night. Did you feel that way at all? No, I mean, I don't really take any night, you know, thinking any different. You know, I go into every game thinking the same thing. You know, do, do what I can to help us come out with the win. And, and what he's not telling you is that after practice yesterday, we had a shooting game, him and I. And we went to every spot, and whoever made, whoever got the five first wins the game. I won that. And I won the game. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Freeman, at what point late in the game you guys realized that you guys had Arizona, y'all could beat them? At what point late in the game? Because it was going back and forth. Uh, first of all, I want to give all the uh, honor to God. Second of all, um, we walked into the game <clears throat> uh, knowing that you know we play every game to win. You know, anybody that you know, steps on the court against us, we're not playing like, oh, we're going to try to turn it on in the second half. We're going to turn it on you know, at certain points. You know, from the start to finish, we want to play as hard as we can. And uh, so, you know, um, we prepare every single day in practice. Um, and, you know, we give each other confidence. Our coaches give us confidence. And uh, we, we believe in the way we play. So, you know, when the game starts, you know, we play the win from start to finish. Malik, was, is it, but, uh, Malik when, did you know going into tonight you were definitely going to play? And, and how did you feel? Um, like, like I did, I'll start by thanking God. And, uh, going into the game, it was always definitely coach's decision. I was waiting on the big hops so, uh, to, you know, let me lose. Uh, I just want to be very fortunate, you know, to be able to go out there. I was hurt, but yeah, man, I, I knew going into it that I, whatever ability I had, I just wanted to help my team because, you know, I love these guys and we go in there every day just to play hard. And I feel like we still have more room to improve. And then let me answer that, too. He had no clue whether he was playing or not. He, um, he, he don't know I know this, but he was asking assistant coaches, do you think I'm going to be able to play tonight? And nobody would answer him. And, and, and honestly, it was a game time decision. <laughs> You know, I, I asked the trainer right before the game, how did he look at warm-ups? And I don't know if he was good or bad, but he said he was good, so I decided to play him tonight. Now, did you have any, was there a benefit to the experience of playing here last year? You've been in this arena and this this setting before? Uh, I mean, you know, the you know having game experience, um, you know, is, is always a good thing. Um, being here last year,
last year, um, having a you know chance to win it, you know, it was a good experience. But um, you know, I just wanted to, you know, have, since I had the opportunity to come back with these guys, just you know, wanted to share it with them, like <clears throat> especially in a, you know a game where you know it's going to be a big time game. It's going to be a forty minute dog fight, and it's not just you know being in the Bahamas, but any you know big game that we're part of, you know, later on down the line in the ACC. Um, NCAA tournament, uh, AC tournament, you know, it's going to be a full game dog fight, and that's you know, really what I'll tell them, you know, tell Kevin, them in the huddles, and, and that's what you know, we're speaking to each other. Kevin, yeah, is this the type of culture that the ACC creates to where you're used to playing the best and playing on a regular basis like this? Well, I don't know about so we're trying to build a culture here. Uh, obviously, when I took over the program, I wanted to change a couple things, and, and obviously, put in our system and, and the debate always happens is when you're a first year head coach at a different program is do you try to put in your system or do you try to play to the you know the guys that you already had in the program I felt like when I was at UNCW it worked right away and I could put the system in and these guys are making me look good five games into the season. <laughs> Kevin is this is I know you're still in the moment but like I would think there'd be some pretty awesome emotions here like the number two team in the country uh, for a team who took over that was really struggling last year? Well, we're excited, but obviously we didn't come here just to win one game. Um, obviously it's three games in this tournament. Uh, we got so we got tremendous respect for every program and every coach in this tournament, and uh, we celebrate a little bit, you know, but obviously it's a quick turnaround, and we got to be prepared to play them all. Well, like you're, you're the only guy up there who, of the four of you who's kind of been through the last couple of years and all this. What does this win mean to you? Having made the decision to come back and do it again, uh, it means a lot. And like I said, like we're just fortunate, you know. Uh, Coach came in and he believed in us from the beginning, and he never put any doubt in our minds that we couldn't be the best team or that we couldn't go out there and win. And honestly, we probably he probably believes deep down inside we should have won more and won by more. And it just feels good to be out there with this new change and with this culture and with my family. It's just it's just a, it's a good feeling. Right now. You you. You've been a part of some big wins. Where does this one rank for you right now? Can you put any perspective? I'm just going to throw it in the bag with the other ones uh, because we have some unfinished business, you know. Uh, my biggest goal right now, our biggest goal is to finish out this week on top and just to stay together as a family and continue it, you know, further going on for the season. Like, what what's the difference in, like, the, the, the tenor of this team, the identity of this team compared to a year ago? Like, what feels different about you guys? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily focus on any differences, but I can tell you what we are. Uh, we're a hard-working team, and it's going to take a team to go out there and battle every time. And with Coach believing in us and instilling his ideologies, you know, on defense, offense, and sticking together, culture, family, we can go anywhere. Coach, I wanted to ask you about, you guys were playing from the front most of the night, and they got a run on you and were up, but you guys came back with it was a 13-1 to run, and it just seemed like every time your team had to respond, they did. What does that say to you about your team's competitiveness? Well, that means a lot. You know, obviously, you don't know how good your team is until you have some adversity. Uh, and I thought our guys answered the bell every time that they made a run. I thought we stayed focused. I, I didn't think we ever panicked. Uh, you know, it, I have to give Braxton a lot of credit. He played a lot of minutes because Markel was, wasn't feeling well at the time. And so he finished the game. And then Al did a tremendous job of kind of calming us down. You know, we put the ball in his hand and he made some plays. What was the situation with Markel? Was it cramps? Yeah, I think it was cramps. Two more. Um, he was here in the summer for a battle, or the summer for Thunder um, at UNCW. Now you come here, you had a good event there in the summer, had some wins. And um, now you're back here at NC State um, in a new big, got a big win here. Tell us how beautiful and how good the Bahamas have been to you. <laughs> The Bahamas is great. I mean, you know, I, I wish I, um, you know, if you can talk to the organizers, I'll come back every year. It's, um, you know, it's a, it's a great place. It's, a, it's one of the most beautiful places ever to run a tournament. Uh, they do a first-class job running the tournament. It's, it's uh, you always got elite teams in it. You know, it's, uh, it's one of those things that you look forward to. I know I'm excited, but I can tell you who's excited more than me, my wife and kids. They have a great time <laughs> on this trip.